law commission of india law commission of india is an executive body it is an executive body not a legislative body it is not established with an act of the parliament but established by an order of the government of india its major function is to work for legislative reform its major function is to work for legislative reform and membership of the law commission includes legal experts who are given a mandate that is a task by the government and law commission is not a permanent body but the commission is established for a fixed tenure that is a fixed term and it works as an advisory body to the ministry of law and justice it is only an advisory body remember here three points are important it is an executive body and it works for the legal reforms and it is an advisory body to the ministry of law and justice the first law commission was established during british regime that is in 1834 itself by the charter act of 1830 till date 20 law commissions has been constituted after independence the composition of law commission includes one chairman one permanent member one member secretary and six part time members the last law commission that is 20th law commission was established in 2013 under the chairmanship of former chief justice of delhi high court ap shah and its tenure has been fixed till 2015 remember law commission has been constituted on an ad hoc basis for a fixed term of years for example 20th law commission was fixed for a term of 2 years from 2013 to 2015 so it is an ad hoc body not a permanent body what is the purpose of uh, constituting the law commission the purpose is to review or repeal the obsolete law that is outdated laws examine the existing laws revise central acts of general importance remember no law is applicable for all the time even the laws have to be changed according to the requirements of the changing times working of the law commission this law commission works in close coordination and under the general instruction of ministry of law and justice it works under the general instruction of ministry of law and it acts as a initiation point for law reforms in any country and this works in a research oriented manner employing large number of research analysts and law commission prepares report on various topics like uh, gender justice laws related to gender justice juvenile justice marriage laws laws on divorce succession everything everything under the sun Once the report has been submitted to the Ministry of Law and Justice, the task of the Commission ends, and the report is not binding on the government, and the government has the independence either to implement the recommendation or to ignore the recommendation of the Law Commission. So, what is the role of Law Commission in in Indian legal reforms? Even though Law Commission is an ad hoc body, it has been very key to the law reforms in India. Even Supreme Court, in a number of decisions, has referred to the work done by the Commission and followed its recommendations. most importantly the law commission reviews the judicial administration and it ensures that it is responsive so that delays are li- eliminated and helps in disposal of cases in quick and cost effective manner without sacrificing the principle of natural justice and commission works to simplify the procedure to curb the delay and improve standard of justice and it is also striving to promote an accountable citizen friendly grow government which is transparent and ensures the people's right to information one of the drawback of the commission is that its recommendation are not binding on the government so this has resulted in a number of important and 